What's going on guys? Captain Cook here. I get this question asked quite a bit. Should I cut or should I bulk? Let's jump into it, go into those two phases and understand what we're dealing with here. Let's go. Alright, let's go over the two phases first. You got cutting, you got bulking. Bulking. I'll go over that first. Bulking is simply eating an excess amount of calories, protein, carbohydrates, and fats in order to give your body the fuel and energy it needs to build lean muscle mass. In a bulk, you're going to add on muscle mass, but you're also going to add on fat. Now the reason for this whole process is just that, to add on as much muscle mass as possible. The downside of bulking is you're going to add on a little fat, that's just part of the process. Now for me, I recommend at the very minimum you bulk 8 months to a year just to give your body enough time to really build that muscle. <clears throat> Another thing with bulking is you have to lift heavy weights. Your muscle is not going to grow unless you lift heavy weights. That is the bulk phase. The cutting phase. Now, the cutting phase is eating at a caloric deficit. This means that you intake less calories than you burn in a day. So if you eat 2,000 calories, but in that same day you burn 2,300, you're at a caloric deficit. And you know what that means. That means fat loss. That means body weight drops. That means muscle starts to pop. That was a good rhyme. Anyways, by doing this and having your macronutrients set up right, you can keep as much lean muscle mass as possible from your bulk phase while also getting shredded. And that's the two reason, that is the two reasons for the two phases. One, to build muscle. Another, to cut off the fat to reveal that muscle. Essentially, that's a quick overview of those two phases. Of course, there's a lot more that goes into that, but I ain't gonna get into the nitty gritty, picky picky stuff. I'm just giving you the essential details you need to understand these two phases. Now, many people ask, can you build muscle and lose fat at the same time? Man, that is such a touchy subject. And I'm just gonna say, it's not practical. That's the whole reason for the two phases. You cut and you bulk for a reason. You build muscle, then you cut the fat off to reveal that muscle while trying to keep as much muscle as possible. So, and the people that can build muscle and lose fat at the same time is very few in between. Um, it's just not practical. Newbies can do it and people on gear and a few other situations. But for the most part, if you're just a natural and you've already been in the game for a while, that's the reason for these two phases. Now let's get into this. Should you bulk or should you cut first? All right. Most of the time, I would recommend cutting first in these situations. So if you're an average or bigger person, I would definitely recommend cutting first. And the reason being is, you want to drop your body fat percentage down low enough so when you bulk up again, your body fat percentage ain't through the roof and it won't take you as long to cut around the next time. That's why for, I'm gonna say, I don't know, for a lot of people, Cutting always comes first because you need to get down to a low enough body fat percentage so when you bulk back up, your weight and body fat percentage isn't through the roof. Because if I started bulking at 20%, I would end up at 30, 35% and I would be fat as hell and that would take forever to cut that off. 
and you don't want all those that you don't want that much fat when you're cutting. You want to cut down, bulk up, then cut back down. Now, in the case that I would recommend bulking first is if you were a real already low body fat percentage or you're a really skinny person and just didn't have that much lean mass on you. Then I would recommend bulking first. You decide what you want to do, cut or bulk. It's really up to just personal preference. This is just my opinion. Um, and that's going to wrap up this episode. Tap like if you like this. Comment if you dare. Subscribe for more updates. Don't forget to share.